Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking an English blend pipe tobacco for the first time, which is something that I am both excited to do and a little bit nervous to do at the same time, just simply because I have heard that English blend pipe tobacco is very different than any other blend of pipe tobacco I've tried previously. I've previously tried aromatic, straight Virginia, and Virginia Peroke blends of pipe tobacco before, but I have heard that this stuff is very, very, very different from literally everything I've ever tried due to the inclusion of a type of tobacco called Latakia, which apparently gives English blend pipe tobaccos a very a smoky sort of campfire-like taste. And honestly, that's not something that really sounds up my alley, I will admit. That's not something that sounds super enjoyable to me, but I've heard that English blend pipe tobacco is really good. And even if it doesn't sound like it's up my alley, you don't know for sure until you've tried it yourself. And so as such, a couple weeks ago now, I decided to walk into my local brick and mortar pipe shop to get some English blend pipe tobacco for the first time. I asked the owner, hey, what should I get for my first ever English blend of pipe tobacco? And he pointed me towards this stuff right here, which is some Peter Stockaby English Oriental Supreme. And he said, it's a good beginner blend of English pipe tobacco, and it's just a good overall blend as a whole. And so as such, I picked some up, just taking his word for it, and I decided to do some research when I got home. And when I got home, I found out that this uh, blend of pipe tobacco is a pretty highly regarded bulk blend of pipe tobacco, from what I could tell at least from some pipe tobacco review sites. This Pipe tobacco contains Georgian Virginia's Black Cavendish, uh, Mexican Burleys, and Cypress Latakia. And uh, while, while none of that really means too much to me, I will admit, besides the actual blend itself, I don't really know what difference the actual country it's made and actually makes, I will admit. Uh, all of that sounds pretty scrumptious to me, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. While that might be a lot of mumbo jumbo to me and everything like that kind of thing, country wise and everything like that kind of thing. It does still sound pretty scrumptious to me, and putting the country uh, on, over, over the putting putting the country where that specific variety of tobacco was grown certainly is a good selling point and everything like that kind of thing. And I ain't gonna lie, I have been sold. That is for sure. I have been sold, and so as such, I uh, certainly am looking forward to trying some uh, English blend pipe tobacco for the first time uh, live on video today. But I do suppose before I go any further into the video, I should probably explain what English blend pipe tobacco actually is. So what is it? Well, it really depends on who you ask, in all honesty. It really does depend on who you ask. The, the actual, it's hard to get an actual real definition of what English blend pipe tobacco is, because as said, it really depends on who you ask kind of thing. But historically, this is a certainty, historically, English blend pipe tobacco was, well, pipe tobacco that was blended and sold in England. Historically, at least. That's what English blend pipe tobacco was. Not so much anymore. English blend pipe tobacco these days is more of a blend of pipe tobacco that is made with a certain variety of uh, of, of tobaccos that has a certain, uh, I'd have to say, that has certain characteristics to it and everything like that kind of thing. That's more what English blend pipe tobacco is now. English blend pipe tobacco these days doesn't actually have to be made in England anymore or anything like that kind of thing. And from what I've heard at least, Generally speaking, English blends of pipe tobacco contain Virginia, Burley, Oriental, and Latakia tobacco. That's what I've heard at least. Now, there are also some other blends of pipe tobacco that have similar varieties of tobacco in them, such as Balkan blends, Latakia blends, and uh, Scottish blend pipe tobaccos. And so the definition is very, very, very hazy, I will admit. Trying to actually define what an English blend of pipe tobacco is while not trying to edge up on what the other blends of pipe tobacco are supposedly is, is kind of hard in all honesty. From what I've read, it just kind of comes down to the amount of the different varieties of pipe tobacco that are in the different blends kind of thing. Like for example, I think I read that English 
blends of pipe tobacco have more oriental in them than like Balkan blends, which have more like Latakia in them or something like that kind of thing. I don't know. It gets very confusing. I'm gonna lie. It really does get very confusing, but that's really the best definition of what an English blend pipe tobacco is. It really depends on what you on who you ask kind of thing. But as said, it's just very much a blend of pipe tobacco that is just determined by its characteristics and uh, the varieties of tobacco used, which tend to be more so than not Virginia's, Burley's, uh, and Orientals and Latakias, but of course there are exceptions to this. This can this pipe tobacco right here contains uh, black Cavendish, uh, so there are exceptions to that and everything like that kind of thing. It is, I guess, not really a. It's it's more of a rough definition rather than a certain definition. That is for sure. So there's a, a lot of English blend pipe tobaccos, but I guess not every English blend pipe. I guess not every English pipe tobacco is an English blend pipe tobacco. I, I don't know. I don't know. In all honesty, it gets very confusing. That is for sure. If you guys have a better definition for what English blend pipe tobacco is, please make sure to comment it down below. As said, everybody kind of has their own definition. Um, uh, for from, from me, at least, an English blend pipe tobacco is, is just a pipe tobacco that contains um, some amount of Latakia in it, but probably less Latakia than a Balkan blend of pipe tobacco. That's what an English blend of pipe tobacco is, to me at least, but as said, it really does depend on who you ask. Um, now that I've covered that, though, now that I've covered that, that was probably not the greatest explanation in the world, but that's what I'm going to stick with, you know what I'm saying? Now that I've covered that, though, I do suppose it is now time for me to go ahead and get this mason jar right here, which I have holding my tobacco all opened up. I'm going to go ahead and smell the pipe tobacco. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to go over what the moisture feels like and everything like that kind of thing. Feel if it if it feels like it has a lot of moisture in it and everything like that kind of thing. And then after that, I think I'm going to go and introduce you guys to the pipe I'm going to be smoking today. I'm going to go ahead and start getting some of my pipe tobacco all in my pipe. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, Peter Stockaby English Oriental Supreme all lit up. And I'm going to go ahead and smoke some English blend pipe tobacco for the first time. But first off, as said, we got to go ahead and get this mason jar all opened up. And I got to go ahead and smell this because I want to let you guys know what this smells like. And let me tell y'all what, it smells very different from every other pipe tobacco I have ever smoked before this point. I'm just going to go ahead and put the lid on the ground real quick, just like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a large whiff. And yeah, that smells so different from every other tobacco I have ever smoked. I have never even smelled a tobacco that, I, I've never smelled a tobacco that smells like this kind of thing. I've never smoked a tobacco that smells like this. It smells so different from everything I've ever smoked before, I ain't gonna lie. It has a very, very, very intense, I'd have to say, sort of like smoked smell to it. Not quite like a woody campfire or something like that kind of thing. I've heard some English blend pipe tobaccos can kind of be characterized as having a sort of woody campfire taste kind of thing. This, on the other hand, does not really have that sort of taste. It sort of smells more to me like smoked like beef jerky or something like that kind of thing. That's kind of how it smells to me. I asked my brother, who does not smoke pipe tobacco or, or any uh, anything as a whole kind of thing, what this smells like to them kind of thing. I just wanted their opinion. And they said to them, it smells like um, like a, a, like um, smoked dog treats. That's what it smells like. And honestly, they're not wrong. They're <laughs> not really wrong. It does kind of smell like smoked dog treats. But to me, more so than not, it smells like kind of like smoked beef jerky or like uh, venison or something like that kind of thing. That's kind of what it smells like to me. It just smells very, very, very smoky, but not like campfire-esque, I definitely have to say. There are definitely some hints of other stuff in there, but the um, the scent of the uh, sort of smokiness is so intense, it's kind of overwhelming everything else. I'd have to say... I'm also kind of smelling, I'd have to say, maybe some caramel or something like that kind of thing, and a little bit of sweetness as well. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of hard to determine whether those smells are actually in there or not, or whether I'm actually imagining them. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm getting some other scents, but it's hard to determine what they actually are. So those last two scents I said, don't take my word on that kind of thing, but you can definitely tell there's something in there besides the smokiness kind of thing, but it's just kind of hard to tell what it actually is. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the tobacco itself actually looks like, though, and we can see this is a ribbon-cut uh, uh, pipe tobacco, so you don't need to worry about, like, uh, hauling it apart or anything like that kind of thing. And feeling the moisture of it, it feels uh, just about perfect, in all honesty. A little bit moist, a little bit dry kind of thing. Feels just about perfect to me, that is for sure. And we can see... There are a lot of black flakes, I assume. That's like the black Cavendish and the Latakia. Uh, from what I've 
heard at least does Latakia, I think Latakia tobacco is darker tobacco. I, I'm not sure in all honesty, I'm not exactly sure. I think I've read that Latakia tobacco is a little bit darker than not and Black Cavendish is a little bit darker than not as well. So I assume that is both probably the Black Cavendish and the Latakia maybe, correct me if I'm wrong. And then I'm seeing some lighter tobacco as well. I'm assuming some of this is the Virginia and the Burley and everything like that kind of thing. Looks like a pretty scrumptious mix of pipe tobacco that is for sure. So uh, yeah, I certainly am looking forward to seeing just how good or just how bad this actually is. But, you know, definitely does smell very, very, very different when compared to every other pipe tobacco I've ever smoked up until this point. I'm gonna go and put that on the ground and I'm gonna go and introduce you guys to all of the utensils I'm gonna be using to smoke the uh, Peter Stockaby English Oriental Supreme in today's video. Though. Now that I've covered what the tobacco looks like, the moisture content of the tobacco is perfectly fine in all honesty and um, yeah, smells amazing, you know what I'm saying? Smells amazing, very, very, very different from what I've had before, and I really do hope that I enjoy the taste of it. I bought myself a brand new Missouri Meerschaum filtered pipe, though, for this experience. I have heard that English blend pipe tobaccos and Balkan blends and, uh, like, Scottish blends and stuff like that kind of thing are something you don't really want to mix in with your other blends of pipe tobacco. Uh, in the, uh, in, well, with this, no. I got my words all jumbled up. I've heard that um, any blend containing Latakia tobacco, which includes English, Balkan, Scottish, and Latakia blend tobacco, is not really something you want to use out of the same pipes as all of your other pipes kind of thing, um, just because it's such an overwhelming sort of blend of tobacco. And so as such, I decided to go ahead and pick myself up a new Missouri Meerschaum a corn cob pipe for this experience today. I don't know how much uh, how much truth there is to um, the, 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 the myth that you can't really smoke it out of the same pipe. I'm sure you will. You can smoke it out of the same pipe, but will it be really be super pleasant? I'm not sure in all honesty, but just to be safe, I decided to buy myself a new pipe, you know what I'm saying? And so as such, I'm certainly quite excited to buy, uh, to, to buy? I'm certainly quite excited to use my new Missouri Meerschaum for the first time in today's video. Uh, and I've got my, uh, my uh, check pipe tool with me today. Uh, you always use this pipe tool and uh, I'm looking forward to using it as well today as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start getting my pipe all filled up with some of my Peter Stockaby that I have right here. And uh, then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and get to smoking. So I should probably actually first off, get my uh, rolling tray out. I have a rolling tray that should make it a little bit easier to make sure I don't drop all of my pipe tobacco everywhere, all over the place and everything like that kind of thing. So now that I have my rolling tray out, I have this very nice rolling tray that I got at the thrift shop a couple years ago. Big fan of it, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go and just put that in my lap and I'm gonna go ahead and put the pipe on it, just like that kind of thing. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this and I'm gonna go and just take a, uh, a small pinch kind of thing and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in my pipe. If I can, I'm dropping stuff everywhere, I will admit. I'm just gonna go and put it in my pipe and I'm gonna go ahead and take my pipe tool and I'm just gonna very, very, very lightly press down. I'm not gonna do anything like super hard. I'm not gonna press super hard or anything like that kind of thing. There we go, just a very light press. I'm just gonna get that all the way down. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of a bigger pinch now. This is how I've been filling up my pipe these days. I'm gonna take a little bit of a bigger pinch now. I definitely have to say something more like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and not lift my pipe above where it's supposed to be. And I'm gonna go and get all of this tobacco in here kind of thing. And some of it fell on my rolling tray, but that's why I'm using my rolling tray. And I'm gonna go ahead and just press that down just a little bit harder kind of thing, just a little bit harder than the first press I did. This is just my personal way of filling up pipes, but we all have our own method, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm gonna go ahead and take an even bigger pinch of pipe tobacco, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to fill up the rest of the pipe with that one. So I'm gonna go and take an even bigger pinch, just like that. I'm gonna go put this back down on the ground, and I'm gonna go ahead and just try to shove it all in there kind of thing. Just shove it all in there, just like that kind of thing. And I'm just gonna scrape all of the tobacco that is kind of on the sides, all off and everything like that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just press this down pretty hard kind of thing. I'm gonna press this down pretty hard. I'm dropping some on the ground, that's okay though. It's a bulk blend of pipe tobacco. It's not expensive, it is what it is kind of thing. And there we go, the pipe is mostly full now. I do still have a bunch of tobacco on my rolling tray though. So I'm gonna scrape that all into one corner and I'm gonna go and shove it in there as well. And then after that, I'm gonna go and test the draw of the pipe and make sure it's all good. If I need to, if I need to kind of compress down just a little bit more, I will. And I'm dropping tobacco all over myself right now. It is a little bit breezy today, so to be expected, I do suppose it is what it is kind of thing. I was gonna sit at some benches. There's some benches to the right of me, but uh, I'm sitting on the edge of a field right now and where the benches are, even though they're only, I'd have to say, probably like 25, 30 feet away, it is significantly more windy over there, so I decided to opt to uh, sit towards the edge of the field I'm sitting at right now instead of over there. 
And uh, let's go ahead and just put the rest of the tobacco I've got on my rolling tray in my pipe. Can't be wasting no pipe tobacco, even though I, I could totally just shove it back in my mason jar and everything like that kind of thing, which I might actually do. Just a moment, there we go. I'm just gonna go and compress that down. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just test the draw real quick. And there we go. I definitely have to say the draw has some resistance to it kind of thing, but not too much. I am still able to pull through. And so as such, I think it's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything down and I'm gonna go and put the lid back on my uh, pipe tobacco. And I'm gonna just gonna go and scrape all of this that was on my rolling tray back in there. Put that down on the ground. I'm gonna go and put the lid back on this right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just do that kind of thing. There we go. There we go, just like that. And now that I've done that, I love doing that. I love, I love, I love pressing this down. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. So much fun. I don't know. It's so satisfying to press down the top of a mason jar. I'm getting distracted though. But, but now that I've gone ahead and getting, gotten, now that I've gone ahead and getting, now that I've gone ahead and gotten my pipe all filled up and everything like that kind of thing, let's just go ahead and do a little bit of a dry puff. And I'd have to say on the dry puff. I don't know. I'm not really getting too much on the dry puff. I don't know. I'm getting a sort of definitely different taste than normal. I'm getting some sweetness in my mouth. I'm getting some of that smoky taste that I smelled in my mouth as well. But the main taste I'm getting on the dry puff is very much like an odd sweetness. I can almost... I don't know, caramel? No, I don't know. I can't really determine what the sweetness is. Kind of comes off like a molasses caramel, but not really at the same time kind of thing. I don't know, it's, it's really weird. Um, taste is good right off the bat, off the dry puff. So let's actually see how it smokes. So I do suppose without further ado, let's go ahead and do my false light. And uh, let's go and see how this pipe tobacco right here actually is. And let's go ahead and actually smoke some English blend pipe tobacco for the first time. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Oh, right off the bat. Definitely different. Not as different as I was kind of thinking it was going to be, but definitely different, that is for sure. I'm gonna go and just press this down just a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to do a real light now. Might be, I might need one more false light, not sure. It is a little bit breezy today, which is making it a little bit difficult to do this, but that is what it is kind of thing. Gonna have to give myself a moment or gonna have to give the wind a moment to calm down, I think. Excuse me, in all honesty. I should probably invest in a uh, real pipe lighter. I will admit something that just directs the flame directly into the bowl. I should probably invest in one of those eventually. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I don't know. A little bit, little bit more difficult than not with the breeze that's going on right now. A little bit more difficult than not. I'm going to keep trying, though. I probably shouldn't have tried to... I probably should have decided not to make this video where I'm sitting right now just because of the breeze. I knew it was breezy, and I was like, no, it's not going to be a super big deal. The breeze goes in and out. Yeah, the breeze takes like five minutes to go in and out. <laughs> it'd be what it'd be kind of thing. I also decided to buy a uh, pipe with a fork on it like that for the first time. I've, I've never bought one like this. I don't know. I don't know if I'm super big here. I don't know. Very much a clenching pipe, that is for sure. Very much a clenching pipe. I'm already, I just left some tooth marks in this. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, it is what it is. And there we go. I finally got it lit up. I finally got it going. 
There we go. I think I might go for another light real quick as well. Interesting. Interesting. It's not as different as I thought it was going to be. I'm sure there's some other English blends out there which are far more different. This is not as different as I thought it was going to be, though, to be completely frank with y'all, which is really, really, really odd. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. Definitely, yeah. A little bit different than what I'm used to, but not all that different. Not all that different kind of thing, which is very odd. I don't know, maybe it's just this blended pipe tobacco, but I mean, like, it's definitely different. Definitely has, I'd have to say, maybe a little bit more of a smoky taste to it, especially on my tongue. Like, on my tongue, I'm getting a smoky sort of taste kind of thing. Um, like, very much, like, not really campfire, just, like, smoky, like, like smoked meats sort of taste kind of thing, but no distinct meats, but just a sort of smoky taste. And then I'm getting a sort of sweetness in the back of my throat, I feel like, probably from the Black Cavendish kind of thing. Interesting. I'm not really able to determine what the actual tastes are yet, but I hope to do that once I continue smoking. And right off the bat, I am struggling to keep this lit. Ooh. Ooh. And I'm already feeling a little bit of a buzz. This stuff's pretty good. This stuff's pretty good. It's got some strength to it, too. It's not super strong by any means, but nah, that's, that's some good stuff. I like that. That's nice. That's nice, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Huh. I don't know. While it doesn't taste all that different from what I'm used to, because it's not really what I'm used to and it's not what I'm familiar with, 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 it's so hard to actually determine what the tastes are kind of thing. Maybe I'll start noticing more and I'll actually be able to determine the tastes once I get further on into the bowl. But right off the bat, this is a lot harder than not to actually determine the tastes of. But what I can say is that I'm getting a smoky taste like in my mouth and then I'm getting some like sweetness in like the back of my throat. That's what I can say. But I can't really determine what the sweetness and what the smokiness is like. I just don't have any experience with pipe tobaccos that really taste anywhere near like this. While it's, it, it's so odd because this is not all that different from pipe tobaccos I've smoked previously kind of thing. But at the same time, it is very different from pipe tobaccos I've smoked previously, which is quite odd. Interesting. Very interesting, very interesting. I am honestly, I don't know why I was putting off trying this. This is some good stuff. I really like this. 
This is really good. This is really good. Wow. And one of the thing, one of the things a lot of the reviews said about this pipe tobacco right here is that they didn't say this word wise, but I got the distinct impression that a lot of the reviewers I had um, that I read reviews of thought that this pipe tobacco punched above its price point because they said it has a very nice complex flavor. While people's opinions on what the tobacco actually tastes like depends on what review you look at. Everybody seems to have their own take on what the Peter Stockaby English Oriental Supreme tastes like. What everybody agreed on was that it has a complex flavor. And I can right off the bat agree with that. One hundred percent. One hundred percent I can agree with that. Very smooth as well. I'm smoking this pretty fast and I'm getting no tongue bite. None at all. Less tongue bite than I'm getting from an aromat than I'm getting from aromatics. I'm like, aromatics, come on. When I think aromatic, I'm like, oh, you're not gonna get any tongue. No. I get tons of tongue bite off of aromatics. This, on the other hand, this is giving me like no tongue bite. This is good stuff. I like this. Man, what? Why haven't I tried this stuff? Man, what have I been doing? Aw, oh, man. This is good. This is like camping tobacco. That's what this is. Camping tobacco. Aw, oh, man. Go camping, smoke some of this. Whew. That would be good. That would be a good time. You know, this stuff is good. And I'm, I'm holding the, um, the stem in my mouth while I'm trying to talk because I've read that if you keep it in your mouth, you got kind of the breath going out just a little bit through this so it doesn't really keep it where it's like um, smoking super hot, but it just keeps some air going through. So it keeps smoking without going out. And so I'm doing this while I'm talking to try to make sure it stays lit really well. And um, so far it seems to be working better than not. Wow. Wow. I'm still going to need a minute to kind of determine what the taste is like. Usually at this point in the video, I'd be like, all right, here's my initial impressions on the taste. I am really impressed. <laughs> Genuinely so impressed. This is so different, yet at the same time, kind of similar from what I've tried before, but it's different enough where I can't really determine what the actual tastes are like. That's just how different it is. Like with Virginia Burley tobacco in general and stuff like that kind of thing. I'm like, all right, this is what the taste is like kind of thing. I'm not so good with Orientals yet. I'm still working my way up to Orientals and everything like that kind of thing. But with Virginia Burley, I've got it down kind of thing. More so than not, more so than not. With the Virginia Burleys I've tried so far at least. With this on the other hand, it's so hard to tell. And I, I think it's just because I've never tried it before and I just don't have any experience with tobacco that really tastes like this at all. Alrighty though. I think I am gonna try to talk about the taste for a minute though. So what does the Peter Stockby uh, English Oriental Supreme actually taste like? Well, I would have to say it very much tastes like, it tastes very similar yet different to how it smells. And it very much has a sort of smokery taste to it a very smokery taste to it. Not quite like a campfire, 
but more like an iron wood burning stove. More like a wood burning stove sort of taste, which is a really bad way of putting it. I just can't think of a better descriptor. It's kind of like a, or it's kind of like, um, I don't know. It's, it's like somebody smoking meat outside, but they're done smoking the meat and it's just the, the fire it keeps burning kind of thing. That's what it kind of tastes like. So it's kind of like, there's like some hints of meat on there, but you can't really smell it because the meat isn't actually on there kind of thing. So it kind of, it kind of, there's kind of a, a taste of a smoky sort of smoked meat, but not really sort of taste. And I'd have to say that is the main taste as a whole. I'd have to say that's probably the main taste as a whole. The secondary taste that I'm tasting is very much a sort of sweet taste. I'm pretty sure that's coming from the Black Cavendish, if I had to guess. Um, it's very much a sort of slightly sugary, I'd have to say, very much almost... molasses or yeah like more sort of like mm, molasses caramel taste not really one or the other kind of just like molasses caramel it kind of comes off like both and i'd have to say there's like a taste of There's a little bit of spice in there as well. There's a little bit of spice in there as well. And I feel like that's coming from the burly. If I had to guess, comes off like a burly. So I'm thinking that spice is from the burly. So there's a little bit of spice. And then the rest of it is just sort of a, a mild sweetness kind of thing. And I'm thinking that might be coming from the Virginia. And I'm thinking that's what the taste is like as a whole. This is an, this is a, I knew it was going to be complex. because I read reviews of this tobacco, but I mean, like it's, Probably, it, I'd have to say this has one of the most complex flavors of pipe tobacco I've tried so far. Now, granted, of course, I'm sure that's not indicative of all English blends. I'm sure, I'm sure there's English blends out there that have a very standard basic taste that is the same all the way through kind of thing. This on the other hand, the taste has definitely matured as I've smoked my way through it kind of thing, that is for sure. And the taste I'm having now is definitely different than the taste I got at the beginning and the taste is definitely built in my mouth. The aftertaste I'm getting is very similar to the taste that I'm getting from the pipe itself kind of thing when I have the smoke in my mouth. Very nice taste as a whole. Very, very, very nice. Wow. This is impressive. This is impressive. Huh? I like this stuff. I'm really, I mean like, I'm trying to find the words for what I wanna say, but I'm struggling so much right now to find them. I haven't struggled this much to find words to describe the tobacco in a long time. I haven't, it's been a fat minute. And I'm really kind of at a loss for words for description right now, which is so, so odd. I haven't experienced this in a minute. This has thrown me for a loop, that is for sure. Thrown me for a loop, that is for sure. Oof. some good stuff. I like it. I will admit I like this more. If it wasn't out of a pipe like this, I'm not I'm not really a big fan in all honesty. I'm not I, I decided I wanted to try it. I had never tried a pipe that has a stem like this before kind of thing. I, I think I can say I'm not really a super big fan of bent stems. I will admit I, I don't know if I'm really a big fan in all honesty. Um, I kind of prefer the straight in all honesty. I kind of prefer, prefer the straight. I'm sure if it was like a little bit longer, like maybe a church warden or something like that kind of thing, which is like a really long pipe, if you don't know, uh, maybe I'd like it a little bit more kind of thing. But so far for pipes this size, I'm preferring a straight stem. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. No, oh, this is some, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Wow. Well. 
I'm just feeling very chill, very relaxed right now. I've definitely got a, a very nice pipe tobacco buzz, that is for sure. Definitely have a very nice pipe tobacco buzz. Um, as I said, I'm just feeling very chill, very relaxed, just enjoying my time kind of thing. I'm very much not really couch locked right now. I definitely could get up and go do stuff. I'm having kind of a very calming, yet at the same time, mildly energetic buzz kind of thing, which is really nice. Um, I feel like I could go do something right now, but I'm just feeling so chill. It's just one of those things that I'm just feeling like, wow, this is my time of the day. I'm just enjoying my smoke and just chilling out kind of thing. I'm very much feeling like that right now. And um, yeah, this is some enjoyable stuff. Let me just put it that way kind of thing. I am for sure enjoying this a lot. Feeling very nice, very calm right now. Feeling a little bit buzzed if I do say so myself. I, uh, I cannot complain, that is for sure. Once I got it lit up as well, stain lit pretty well. Oof. Oof. A little bit of tongue bite on the last one. Not too much, though. This has definitely piqued my interest, though. This has definitely piqued my interest. I want to go get some more English blend pipe tobaccos. Um, I already picked up. I, I have uh, two Balkan blend pipe tobaccos at home waiting to be smoked. I wanted to try English blend pipe tobacco before I tried Balkan blend. And um, I'm looking forward to trying those really now kind of thing. If it has more Latakia in it. Um, then I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it kind of thing. I, I, I'm really looking forward to, to seeing how those are kind of thing and how different they are from an English blend that is for sure. Wow. Well, I think I'm gonna go and grab myself a little bit of a screenshot real quick. I've completely forgotten to do that. Should probably go and do that, shouldn't I? Well, hopefully that will do as a screenshot. We will find out after the video. Or maybe I'll grab another screenshot later on in the video if I'm feeling like it. And I was chaining right there kind of thing. I was smoking that quickly. And I did start to get some tongue bite. But I also started to get a little bit of a different taste as well. When the tobacco is smoking hot, it definitely has a slightly different taste to it. Not a bad taste. Not like really icky kind of thing. When, you, when I'm, I'm used to smoking cigars a little bit hot, hot kind of thing. And when you smoke cigars hot, more so than not, with my personal experience at least, you start to get a really icky, sort of spicy taste. And I started to get a little bit of a spicy taste from this as well, but it was more of an interesting taste than anything else kind of thing. It was more of an interesting taste than anything else. And it wasn't bad at all, and I actually really enjoyed it. And I think this might have gone out. I'm gonna relight it in just a minute. But, yeah, no, I mean like, so far, so good. Really, really, really good stuff. Really, really, really good stuff. Really enjoyable. I really like it. What was I saying though? I was saying something. I really can't remember what I was saying. I am just so, I'm still so, oh yeah, I was saying that the taste has, has changed a little bit. And, the taste went from kind of what I was smoking when it, get, when it got a lot hotter. It went from what I described previously roughly um, to more of a smoky, I'd have to say almost veal, 
like a smoked veal sort of taste. Not quite like beef jerky. Beef jerky is a distinct, I'd say more like smoked veal. Um, or is it veal or venison? Venison is deer, right? Or is it veal that's deer? I'm thinking deer. It's more like smoked deer. Yeah. Um, like a very smoked... It's venison, isn't it? Or is it veal? Is it... Which one's a baby cow? <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember. Um, it ain't Wagyu, that's for damn sure. Well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it could be, could be, could be Wagyu. Um, no, it's not Wagyu. I've had Wagyu once. Oh, man, that stuff was amazing. Um, totally worth the price. I can't buy it a lot, though, but totally... Best beef I've ever had. Best beef I've ever had. I ain't got no beef with Wagyu, let me put it that way. But... Ah! Ah! One of the embers hit my hand. Ouch! That was not pleasant. I'm trying to remember what the... I can't remember. Is it venison or veal? That's 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 a deer. I think it's venison, isn't it? It is venison, isn't it? I've been saying veal, thinking it was venison this whole time. No, it's venison. Um, yeah. Okay. So I think I'm ready to try to actually give you guys what I actually think this tastes like. I think I am. Because now that I've been smoking it for a little while, I'm starting to kind of, I've been thinking about what the taste of it is actually like kind of thing. And I'm starting to think of it like a meal. No joke, I'm starting to think the taste of this like a meal, which I don't usually do. I try to, I, I usually think of the taste of a tobacco product as a couple different things, maybe not as like a full meal. Now I'm thinking about the taste of this like a full meal. So I'd have to say, the taste of this tobacco is very much a... Is very much a... Smoked... It comes off like... the. T okay, so I'm gonna... Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to organize this. All right, I'm gonna start with the main distinct taste. So the most distinct taste is what I'm gonna start with, and I'm gonna move my way to the least distinct taste. So the main taste I'm getting... I accidentally inhaled that there. Um, is what it is, though. Um, so the main distinct taste I'm getting from this tobacco is very much a sort of salt and pepper smoked veal taste. But not quite. It doesn't really taste like the taste of salt and pepper smoked veal. It tastes like the smell of salt and pepper seasoned smoked veal getting smoked. That's what it tastes like. Which is so odd. That's so, that's weird. That's it's not weird, I guess, but it's just odd to me. I've never tasted anything else that's really tasted like that. Um. Besides, ven not not veal, venison, venison, not veal. Um, Bieno, it very much tastes like the smell of salt and pepper battered venison getting smoked. That's what the main taste is, I'd have to say. And then after that. There's sort of a very mild sweetness that comes off almost like caramel, a sort of almost caramel-like sweetness. And then after that, you get a little bit of a sort of spice, I definitely have to say, which could be construed as being the um, sort of salt and pepper um, smoked veal kind of thing um, taste. So that, that, that could also be construed as that. So I'd have to say... I don't know. The more I try to describe the taste, the more I'm like, am I thinking about this right? It's so hard for me to say anything for certain. Yeah, I'm gonna take another hit, if this is still lit. If it's not lit, it is what it is.
All right. So I'd have to say the taste is, okay. I've said this like three times now, but I think I'm finally ready to try to describe the taste. I want to describe the taste. That's my goal. My goal is to describe the taste of what the Peter Stockaby English Oriental Supreme tastes like, and I think I've got it. So it's very much a smoked salt and black pepper venison taste, but not like the venison smoked meat would actually taste like. It's like you're smelling it getting smoked right then. Um, and that's what the taste is like kind of thing. And then you get a sort of mild caramel sweetness under that. And then under that, there's a little bit of like a, a tinge of spiciness coming from sort of like a black pepper taste that is not connected to the venison taste. And then under that, you just get sort of like a mild creamy taste. That's what it is. That's what the taste of this is like. I'm leaving it at that. Yep. Smoked venison with salt and black pepper, and then you get a sort of caramel, and then you get another sort of black pepper taste, and then you get a sort of creamy, almost vanilla-like taste. That's what it tastes like, and I'm thinking the smoke taste is the Latakia, and then I'm taking tasting the Cavendish as the um, caramel, if I had to guess, and then it's probably the Burley as the black pepper, the secondary black pepper, and then it's probably the Virginia as the sort of creamy, almost vanilla taste. That's what it's like. That's what the taste is like, to me at least. The taste, though, for this tobacco very much depends on who you ask, but that's what the taste is like to me, and oh my god, it tastes amazing, and the taste is so complex, and I really like it. But this is not like something like I'm trying to pay attention so hard to this, but it combines together so well that you don't really need to pay attention to enjoy this kind of thing. You don't need to pay attention to the taste to enjoy this. It's just something that you can smoke and notice all those different tastes, just one after the other kind of thing and it's just really nice kind of thing, but it's not something you have to pay attention to. This blend is not wanting me to pay attention to it. It's just wanting me to enjoy it kind of thing, which is so nice, I ain't gonna lie. That is honestly really nice. I'm trying to nurse this back to health real quick. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. Wow, though, I am very impressed. All of the flavors combined together so well. I don't know why I've held off on trying English blend pipe tobaccos for so long. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why, in all honesty. I don't know why I've held off for so long. It's really good, really enjoyable stuff. I really like it. This stuff's really good. It's hard to kind of hold with my teeth. I'm, hard, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, trying to grip it, but it ain't working very well. I think I'm gonna try to get this relit once again. It was not super breezy, and then the moment I flicked this, it got breezy again. Oh well. I think this might be almost done, though. I'm pretty sure it might almost be done. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and just compact it down. I'm thinking it might need a little bit of compaction. So I'm just gonna go and compact it down just a little bit, just use a lot of force, compact it down kind of thing. Yeah, I am thinking it's almost done though, but I went to and compact it down. I've realized I had forgotten to compact it down for a while now. So that's probably part of the reason why I was kind of struggling. Let's go and get this relit though. I'm just still so impressed though. This to me very much comes off like um, an in-between between a, and I'm sure some people might get mad at me for saying this, it very much comes off as a mix in between of this specific blend. I don't want to say this about uh, English blend pipe tobacco as a whole, but this specific variety of English pipe tobacco very much comes off as a in-between between aromatic and Virginia Perroque. 
that's very much how it comes off. It very much comes off as an in-between. And I think that's really due to the black Cavendish. I think if it wasn't in there, this pipe tobacco would come off a lot more smoky and it'd be a little bit more different than what I'm used to. But due to that black Cavendish, it really does come off a little bit aromatic kind of thing, but with no tongue bite, really nice as a whole. Well, I think I'm almost done with this uh, with this bowl, I will admit. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start giving you guys my final thoughts on, um, well, trying English blend pipe tobacco for the first time. So what are my final thoughts on this? Well, I think it's really good. I think it's really interesting, very different from what I've tried before. My initial impressions of English blend pipe tobacco are that. Yeah, that... Uh, it's very different from what I've tried before. It's very unique when compared to what I've tried before. And I really like it. I really like this stuff. This stuff is good. I really like it. I like this more than aromatic pipe tobacco. Wow, this stuff is good. Yeah, this is some good stuff. I've been kind of struggling to determine what the taste of it is like, but no. I mean, like, I think I've, I think I've got a good descriptor. I think I, what I described a little bit earlier on in the video is, is what the taste is like to me, at least depends on who you ask, of course, but that's what the taste is like to me, at least. And it tastes really good. And my overall first impressions on English blend pipe tobacco are so much more positive than not so much more positive than not. I really like it. Uh, it's very different from what I've tried previously. Very, very, very different. The smoky taste is unlike anything I've ever had before, besides maybe a couple of Burleys, besides maybe a couple of Burley blend cigarettes and a little bit of Virginia, uh, Virginia Proke as well. Comes off a little bit similar to that, but at the same time, different for sure. Yeah, no. I would definitely have to say very unique compared to what I've tried before, very different when compared to what I've tried before, and very good. Very good. I don't really have too much else to say other than that. This specific um, pipe tobacco variety has a decent amount of nicotine in it. I felt amazing all the way through this video. I have felt fantastic. I have been quite buzzed since I started smoking. I ain't gonna lie. I've been feeling very calm, very chill kind of thing. This specific variety is very good. And if you're looking to try English blend pipe tobacco for the first time, I think it's a good, I think it's, I think it's a good variety to start with. I will admit, of course, I'm sure there might be better varieties out there, but this is the one I tried for the first time. And uh, honestly, I think I'm going to enjoy smoking the rest of it kind of thing. It does not, you don't get any tongue bite. Um, or if you do get a little bit, I did get a little bit. You don't get much kind of thing. The Peter Stockaby English Oriental Supreme tastes fantastic. And yeah, my overall impressions of English blend pipe tobacco as a whole are so much more positive than not. And I am looking forward to trying more in the future. I've got some Balkan blends at home, some, uh, I've got some 1970s um, uh, Balkan Sobrain smoking mixture, and um, I've also got like the modern um, uh, Siseni uh, Balkan, Balkan smoking mixture as well. I'm looking forward to trying both of those in the future, but I think I'm also going to be looking forward to trying maybe some like Peterson Nightcap or something like that kind of thing. I've heard, I've heard good things about Peterson Nightcap. I think maybe I want to try that. Yeah, no, this stuff is really good, really good. It really does come off like a, an amazing, like camping smoke. If I'm going camping, I'm bringing this stuff. I'm bringing this stuff if I'm going camping. And y'all know what this would go amazing with? It would go amazing with Proscudo. Like Proscudo, ooh, it would go so well with Proscudo. And I actually have some at home and I was like, I would bet, I, I bet this would go well with Proscudo based on the smell kind of thing. And um, I forgot to bring any with me. I was going to bring some with me and I completely forgot in all honesty. It'd be, it'd be what it'd be kind of thing. It'd be what it'd be, but. Yeah, this stuff is really good. This stuff is really good. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Well, 
trying to figure out how to actually what moment like i think i've said more so than not my final thoughts um i'm gonna try to okay so i'm gonna i'm just trying to figure out how to kind of end this video off i think i've said pretty much everything i want to say in all honesty i think i've described everything i want to describe um i'm just trying to figure out how to really just say a quick summary kind of thing uh, let's just go with um would i smoke english blend pipe tobacco again yes i would 100 percent um Am I looking forward to smoking more English blend pipe tobacco again? Yes, I am, 100%. Um, am I enjoying this pipe tobacco I'm smoking right now? Yes, I am, 100%. Would I smoke it again? Yes, I would, 100%. What's the taste like? Very much a sort of um, salt and black pepper seasoned sort of venison scent taste, which is kind of odd to have described, with a sort of caramel under uh, undertone and then a sort of another a black pepper undertone and then a sort of creamy vanilla sort of taste coming from in order i want to say the latakia black cavendish burley and then virginia tobaccos um and uh, yeah really good as a whole english blend pipe tobacco as a whole is very different from what i thought it was going it's, it's not very different from what i thought it was going to be like but it's different enough to have really piqued my interest and it's different enough from what i imagined to the point where i really enjoy it let me put it that way i'm sure i won't enjoy every english blend i try of course but this one at least i'm loving certainly no complaints on my behalf that is for sure yeah the smokiness, I was kind of nervous about. I was kind of nervous about the smokiness. But no, I really, really, really like the smokiness. The smokiness is really good. Really good. This stuff, like with aromatic pipe tobacco, you're like, oh, wow, this smells amazing. It's going to be so good. And it is good, but it's not as good as it smells like kind of thing. With the Virginia Perroque kind of thing, or just Virginia, it smells good and it tastes good kind of thing. This doesn't smell so good, but it tastes amazing. That's what this is like. And I think really the main reason I was so nervous about nervous about this is about this stuff was just simply because um, honestly, I wasn't really a big fan of the smell. But no, it tastes amazing. It tastes amazing. And this specific uh, pipe tobacco as well um, has a really nice complex flavor to it that I'm a big fan of. Yeah, I really like it. I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I don't think I'm done with this pipe yet, but I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I don't think I really have anything else to say. So as such, I do think I'm going to go ahead and leave this video right here. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching me um, smoke English blend pipe tobacco for the first time. Leave y'all's favorite pipe uh, Eng English blend pipe tobacco in the comments down below if you guys want to see me try it. Um, I'm looking for more English blend pipe tobaccos to try. No guarantees I'll try them, of course. But if you guys have your favorite English blend pipe tobacco that you guys think I would enjoy, make sure to leave it in the comments down below so I can... Um, see some good recommendations and everything like that and know what I maybe should or shouldn't purchase kind of thing. And uh, of course, if you guys enjoyed watching this video, um, also uh, just let me know uh, what you guys think of the video kind of thing. Do you guys think I did a good description? Do, do you guys think I did a good job of describing? Got my words all jumbled up. Do you guys think I did a good job of describing what an English blend uh, pipe tobacco is like? Do you guys um, think it tastes different? Um, let me know in the comments down below kind of thing. And of course, uh, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my uh, second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. This has been a really fun video to make. Very different. I, th I thought it was going to turn out where I was just kind of like, eh, no, I'm not really a super big fan of it. But no, I'm a huge fan of English blend pipe tobacco now. Or at least maybe not English blend pipe tobacco as a whole, but at least this one, I'm a huge fan of. I'm a huge fan of. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video, though. As said, like, subscribe. Until the next one, stay safe. The peace. Stay safe. <laughs> I'm getting my words all jumbled up again. Until the next one, y'all, stay safe and peace. Never a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.